Welcome to the Creative Kobold. I'm Gaira, and today we're painting up this small house by German manufacturer Zitterdes. This is the Fieldstone Cottage from their product line of foam buildings. It's available through their Zitterdes website, though I got mine from my local flag's Grimfield Games here in Norway a while back. The cottage comes in a grey colored foam, which I assume is XPS, with a spray painted red roof. I begin by cleaning the house up a bit, using a knife to cut away some of the excess foam that's apparent in some places. In addition, I fill some of the holes caused by bubbles in the foam. There are quite a few of these and it's hard to catch them all, but I try to get most of those I see. This little house is surprisingly suitable for the table straight out of the box, and even just a simple black wash would probably do a lot by itself. However, we're going to do some simple paint steps to make it look a lot better than that. First off, I use some dark grey to cover any areas where the red spray has hit the grey foam. It would have been more pertinent to use a grey that's more like the one on the foam already, but I'm being lazy. So I make sure to put a bit of this paint across all the walls of the house. But I keep a lot of the original grey color as it's a good starting point for the walls. Okay, now that there's no red left on the walls, it's time to start dry brushing a lighter grey onto it. This starts making the walls texture pop by giving it a bit of depth. For this first dry brush, I brush from all sides, just trying to cover as much as possible. Next, I get a bit of lighter grey, which I also dry brush on. This time I mainly dry brush straight and diagonally downwards, and avoid getting this paint too close to the roof, uh, simulating a bit of shadow.
Okay, time for a bit of detail work. I get a brown color and apply it to the door, the windows and the beams for the roof. And while a red roof is nice, I want it to be brown. So I start covering it entirely in a dark brown paint, making sure not to hit the chimney, beams or walls. Then I get the same brown I used for the details and dry brush it onto the roof. This is quite easy, but again I make sure not to hit anything I shouldn't. Alright, this is looking good. As a sort of final touch, I put a thin black wash on the entire building. Even though I have a small tub to dunk it in the wash, I do use a brush to make sure I get the wash in everywhere, as just dunking it can leave bubbles in nooks and crannies. I've also put some black paint on top of the chimney where the hole is supposed to be and on the door handle. It takes some time to dry completely so I just let it be until the next day. I cover the entire building in some Mod Podge. This will protect both the paint job and the foam. Okay, this little house is done. Just a very simple paint job with no difficult techniques and very little work. And I think it turned out quite well. 
Now, Mod Podge has a tendency to become a bit too glossy, so off camera I sprayed on some matte sealer to get the finish I want. Be careful when using spray cans with foam though, as the aerosol can eat through the foam if you're not careful. Brush on varnish or airbrush varnish are generally safer for this kind of work. Now that it's done, I do see some more of those bubbles I mentioned earlier. But that's alright, I'm feeling done with this project. This building is now ready for the table. Alright, that was the Zitertes Fieldstone Cottage. Like, subscribe, ring that bell and let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out Greenfield Games if you're in Norway, and I'll see you in the next video.